So just kind of a quick section on measuring precipitation. And actually, I think it's kind of fun when I, and I'm sure helpful to the weather folks, when uh, people in the community call in how much precipitation they've had, and they have some sort of rain gauge out there to measure it. So the next slide is some pictures of these different types of rain gauges. Um, in order of kind of increasing complexity, there's the simple rain gauge, which uh, most of us have uh, if we've got one out in our backyard. Um, and then there's a standard rain gauge, which adds a funnel to kind of collect the water, and then it has to adjust the scale. And then these last two would be things that you kind of see in the uh, ASOSs. Remember those, the automatic, uh, the stations that automatically measure weather conditions and relay it electronically. Um, this one has a, a tipping bucket and it goes ahead and it counts the numbers of tips and to fill the bucket and then you go, you translate that to a volume of water. This one actually uses a scale to measure the mass of precipitation. So these are all ways to measure precipitation. So here's a simple rain gauge. This one has a funnel added and it has to <coughs> um, then adjust the scale. And then this one has, uh, it's really fancy, isn't it? Notice that it has a heater up here in the funnel region to what melt um, snow and go ahead then and collect that as precipitation too. And then notice it goes down here into, um, <coughs> excuse me, it goes down in here to fill a bucket and if the bucket gets heavy enough it tips. And then over here this recorder um, counts how many bucket tips there are. So then you, then this would be like they have in the A sauces. Now whatever rain gauge you use, it's a tough thing to measure, uh, precipitation amounts. And what sort of problems do you run into with measuring precipitation? Well, you can have leaks in your device. You can have water splashing out if the rain precipitation is falling um, with a lot of energy, with a lot of velocity. The wind can blow it around, okay? So when somebody tells you the amount of rainfall, there's actually quite a bit of play in that number. Um, notice that if it's gonna go one way or the other, uh, precipitation amounts using rain gauges like this are generally underestimated instead of overestimated. Here's another uh, rain gauge I figure from your textbook that actually you can see these little aluminum things right here there to try to kind of prevent this uh, this aspect where the wind kind of blows some of the, the precipitation you're trying to measure out of the rain gauge. Measuring snow. Well, snow is a tough one to measure too, and uh, a big problem with snow is if you have any sort of wind, then that snow relocates. So if you're trying to get inches of snow, that's a, that's a tough thing. Um, oftentimes, they will give both the snow inches, and they'll also give the water equivalent. So if you're like me, you may have heard this sort of, um, it's Excuse me, excuse me, a general rule of thumb, you'll get 10 inches of snow for every one inch if it was rain. I don't know, okay? That's a very much a ballpark because you can see the range up here. In some cases, for every one inch of snow, you'd only get, sorry, for every one inch of rain, liquid water, you'd only get four inches of snow. And if the snow is really fluffy, for every one inch of rain, you would get 30 inches of snow. So I've heard the 10 inches of snow for every one inch of rain, too. So this isn't how to measure it directly, but actually we can get a sense for the, the rate of precipitation just by looking at um, radar. Remember, there's radar and Doppler radar. And... Um, just, I think either radar would give you uh, the intensity of the precipitation. Like the slide says, what radars are measuring is the return signal, what we call the echo, that uh, after we send out a signal, if it hits the precipitation, that signal comes back. And the more signal that returns, the heavier the precipitation. So this is what we would call more of an indirect way of measuring precipitation.